step one of building a fermentation chamber. I got a deep freeze, it's not the one I wanted. This one has the cooling coils underneath here. So it'd be nice to get one that had the cooling stuff in the back so you could remove all the racks. But this should be enough room to ferment some sausage. So you had to drill a hole through the side of it. So you drill a pilot hole first, just a, just a quarter inch hole through, and then you fill around to make sure you're not getting any of your control wires. Like I got a thermostat here, so I stayed away from that. And if you've got one of the refrigerators that does not have, or the freezers that does not have the cooling coils on the back, you could end up having one with them in the walls of the freezer. And if that happened and you drill through them, then it's shot. So I'm using a freezer because I only need one chamber. So to drill these holes, first thing you'll do, you got a hole saw on a drill. You'll take your hole saw off. And you'll always drill your pilot hole first. So I drilled it, then I put my hole saw on and then very carefully at slow speed, you get it turning first and then you touch the steel after the hole saw is spinning. You go through the first layer and just as you get through, stop and then push all the insulation and stuff out. And I'm doing this with the appliance unplugged too. Make sure there's no control wires in there and then I drill the rest of the way through. After that, I'm going to add, this is just a plastic reducer for conduit plastic conduit. I'm going to put one inside, one outside. I'm going to fill this with spray foam. So, because you want to have this airtight, otherwise you could get condensation in your insulation and then you can have issues. So, I'm going to get all this siliconed up, spray foamed, airtight, and then we'll look at how I'm going to do my controls for it. 